Hello, welcome to the West Ham Way YouTube. Myself, Mark Carlaw and Riley Finch. Um, a signing we made, Riley, um, that kind of, I felt at the time, and I think I'm sure you'll probably share that feeling um, in Tilo Kira, was one that was sort of coming in as a bit of a plaster because we had a bit of an issue at the time with um, Dawson that might have been leaving and there was a lot of, you know, we had a few issues in terms of injuries and I think there's question marks over Zuma's fitness and it almost felt like a bit of a, not panic buy, but uh, like it, it felt like it was forced upon us to make a, make a move for the player. Mm. Um, and I don't know about you, but I wasn't overly excited. I was kind of thought, OK, we're going to bring a player in, you know, to sort of, it'd be decent to have a player there to step in if need be. And that's kind of how I saw the sign. I didn't really think he'd get much game time, if anything, I'll be honest. Um, I'm really, really impressed with him. Like, I actually think he could be one of the signs of the season. Like he's, he, he looks fantastic. And and this is my opinion, but I just think as well, like it's, it's something about him. Like, I just feel like he's good. He's, He's, the West Ham fans are really taken to him. Do you know what I mean? I get the feeling like he's just he's got, he could be a bit of a cult hero for us. Um, what, what 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 you what do you make of him so far? Well, I mean, he was brought in to kind of replace the ops. I mean, if you look at it from that kind of standpoint, mm. yeah. I mean, it, it's not in day, mate. I mean, the ops sort of his attitude had gone. Like you know, he was held as a beast by Moyes, and he, mm. he just wasn't really living up to that anymore. Um, and for me, like him on the ball was just awful. Like he just wasn't very good on the ball. You know, yeah. he brought in brought in Tilo now, and, and his ball playing. He, that's that's the, the part of his game that's really impressed me the most is the way he can ping a pass out, the way he can, you know, like you know, for the Antonio chance against Spurs, he drills the ball into the midfield. Four nows lays it off, then lays it off to Ben Rama. He plays yeah. it like that's so that's so easy, it's so quick, and it's all because of you know Tilo's thinking. Um, I think for 10 million, we've, we've made profit. You know, we've made profit. We've sold oh, Dion. It's mental, who, isn't it? Who looks <laughs> awful at Fulham, by the way. I mean, <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he'd do quite well, but he looks so pony. I don't know what's up with him, but he looks awful. I, hopefully, hopefully he finds his form, you know, much love to him or whatever. But, you know, Tilo, he just, he just looks a different animal, mate. And, mm. you know, one thing we really lacked at the club was a ball playing centre-back. And we've got, you know, Zuma and Ogbonna, who mm. are kind of like, Obviously, Ogbonna typically is a ball-playing centre-back, but he could definitely yeah. fill the Zuma role of just manhandling all his opponents. And then you've got Aged and you've got uh, Tilo coming in as well. I mean, we've you know we've, I don't know a time when we've had so many good centre-backs at the club, and and the guy just shows passion all the time, you know. And that's what we West Ham fans love. That's why we love Dawson when yeah, he came in. Yeah. He's, he's you know he seems up for it all the time, and yeah, he's sort of given away a penalty, and uh, I think what else did he? Uh, he gave away a penalty, well, he gave away a penalty didn't he? Yeah, you're right. Um, and I think, I think, oh, sorry, he gave away a penalty and he scored an own goal, uh, which was yeah. arguably not an own goal. So you look at it that way, he's had a you know, no, piss yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and also, I, I don't think much you can do about the own goal, but yeah. I, I, but if anything, it's weird, but I, I think sometimes that adds to the love for them a little bit. I don't know what it is with West Ham and our players, but I, I like it when they kind of come in and make a bit of a cock up because. I don't know. He's just. I think the fans just take to him. As you say, I think one, he's got the passion, um, and you clearly, and he's he's dealt with that quite well. I mean, most players. I mean, he could easily have crumbled after that. I mean, on your debut, giving away a penalty, yeah. and let's be honest, the the the, the, the um, challenge was clumsy. He didn't really need to make it, and I think we all. And I've got to admit, when he did that, I thought, oh god, what, what who have we got in our hands here? You know, look, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure about him at all. Antonio I think he's dealt with it really well. We've, he's look, he's he's responded to it really, really well. And, and you say the own goal. Well, I think it was just there's nothing he could do about it. it he, he, there was no, if he didn't get in the way of it and put it in his own net, he was going in the net anyway. So it was, it didn't really make any difference. Um, but I love his passion, and as you say, it's not just even that. He's got, he's fantastic on the ball, like real quality player. Um, I just think we've got a gem there. Do you know what I mean, I feel like we've signed someone. You think, and the fact of his, his age as well. You know, what I mean, we've got mm. a long term contract. He's a young player. Got a lot. He's got a lot going for himself. I just think he could be that signing that. Like a Dawson, like like you just touched on it straight away, you know. And, and I think you're dead right. Like I, when he came in, we all went, oh, "Really? Not sure, you know, what we got ourselves into here." And now it's like we'd be gutted if he'd left. I think any fan would have been absolutely devastated. So I, I feel like that way with Kira or Tito. You know, I, I'm I'm really impressed with him. Quite excited. Yeah, good old Theo. I think he's um. No, I don't know. I, I, the thing with him, though, is that I do I do think he does need to, you know, like we say, the, the Spur, uh, Brighton game, he needs to be a little bit less clumsy. There are some times when I'm watching him and I do think he needs to sort of just hone in on his defence a little bit more. But, mm. you know, we spent £10 million on the guy, we made profit. You mm. know, if we look at it like for like, you know, he, he replaces Dawson or Ogbonna in that team, you know, in, in two or three years to come. Yeah. Uh, he's a German international. You know, he's got great pedigree. Um you know, young of age as well. I think th he looks the real deal, mate. And and the way he's come in so soon as well and slotted into that sort of back two with uh, 
with Zuma. I mean, he, he's already improved on Diop for me. Like, oh, instantly. mate, yeah. You know, so, uh, yeah, I, I personally really warm into him. I really love him. And, and despite the own goal and the and the, the penalty and stuff, I honestly think he's had a really, really good start to the season. I think he's been rock solid with uh, with Zuma. And I think it's a really exciting partnership. I mean, does he does he give like a Gerd or a Bonner a run for his money, do you reckon? Or? I, I think he does. Like, I, I mean... This is, this is what's quite exciting me, really. I, I actually think reality is now, if a Gerd comes back into the side, now, let's say, it, I don't think he walks into it now. I think you've got Zuma, who's, you know, Zuma's very good on his day. We know that. I know he's, he, there's still question marks over his fitness. I'm still not quite sure with it. I don't quite understand what's going on with him. Um, but that aside, like, you look at uh, Tilo and you kind of look at him and think, you just, I don't know, he, you, you can't imagine him being replaced at the moment. Um, I, I just don't think he would. And I, I like that. You know, if you've, you've got Ogbonna then behind him as well. Ogbonna's looked brilliant since he's come back. I know he's still getting up to fitness, but he's looked like he's like a Rolls Royce, isn't he? Just such a quality player. Um, and then, as you say, you've got Gerd coming back. I mean, that's that's four top, you know, draw I mean, centre-backs. That's not even taking into account Dawson. You mm, know what I mean? There's so many quality centre-backs. Do you think maybe, that, you know, we'd stick them in a the back three together? I mean, you've got mm. Tilo, Ogbonna and Aguerd, yeah. or Aguerd, Tilo and Zuma. I mean... You know, talking from a ball playing, I'd r- much rather have Tilo on the ball right now than Cresby. I mean, yeah, he's got a great delivery on him, but mm. we're talking about three centre backs. You know, Tilo, Zuma, and Aguirre. That's that's mental. That's a mental back three. It is, yeah. And I, I, I think X said on um, a while ago on Patreon that I think that that's what the club wanted to push for is, is to have an, another option and go for um, go for the wing back options with a three at the back. And you're right. I mean, if you've got a pool of players like that, I mean, that's that's amazing. That's, and it, and it, I think it just helps each other out. I mean, I'm quite excited by it. I really am. And um, yeah, I, I've, got, I've got high hopes for this this player. I really do. And I think we're, we're in a good shape. I think defensive wise now, we're looking really good. Got so I think one of the best you know pool of back defenders surely in the league. Really have. Yeah, I mean, and it, and it and it shows as well. You know, if you're excited about the defender, he must be bloody good because <laughs> no, you know, no. it's, not, it's not really uh, it's not really a sort of profession that gets a lot of respect that gets a lot of excitement about you know you want to see the goals and such but you know honestly mm. when, I, when I see that back line I'm very impressed by it I'm very excited by it and I'm, and I'm excited to see a Gerd come in I honestly think you know we've got it's definitely the best pool of centre-backs I've ever seen at West Ham and it's something we've definitely struggled with in the last couple of years mm. but you know just him and himself he does seem like he's going to be a cult hero he does yeah. seem like he's going to be that guy that I, I think cult hero is almost a little bit too mean on him though because I feel like Cole Hero insinuates that he's not actually that good but we all love him because of his character and stuff I honestly think he's really really good so yeah. I just think Cole Hero might be too too I don't know I think I think when you think like Andy Carroll's a bit of a cult hero isn't he but he's he's just crap you know <laughs> Like you know, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like no. I think I know what you mean. I, I suppose yeah. I always take it as like it's not necessarily it, everyone really likes him. He's brilliant and he is very good, but he's probably not expected to be that good. Like like a Dawson. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean, there's not many clubs that will go. Oh yeah, you know Dawson. You know, let's be honest. I think Watford were laughing at us when we signed him off of him, and he turned and he has turned out to be one of those players that I think I, I can't believe how well he's done for us really. And I'm so oh, glad he God. stayed. Um, it's been you know I think it's a brilliant you know bit of work that we've managed to keep him. Um. But yeah, no, I I think he will fall into that category. But I think you're right, though. I think I think he's got the potential, though, to show quality. Uh, and I think he could really grow into one of those players that in probably two or three seasons, you're going to have the big club sniffing around thinking he's a really good really? really player. Yeah, well, they, we had it with Diop, didn't we? And I don't know he, start, yeah. he started off very well. And then obviously he sort of nosedived. Uh, uh, well, not saying nosedived. Like he sort straight of to concrete, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, but we, I remember at a point at Man United were keen, weren't they? £40 million. I mean, I, I, and I remember at the time, I, a guy I sit with at um, West Ham and my mate, and he was saying, he's no good in the air, though, Diop. He's just no good. You can see he just can't deal with, with the air at all. He's not very good for his size. He's, he's struggles. And, um, and it's, I, I, he, even he was saying, well, I think he's a bit overrated. Mm. Um, but I think there's a lot of buzz about Diop at the time, and obviously then he's he's tailed I mean, off as he completely. Amazing. Jose Mourinho himself said he was a beast. You know, I mean that's <laughs> no, all the crazy. No, no. He tried to buy no. him at Spurs, and then you know we just about scraped 15 million from Fulham. So it just it just shows you know that you know class is never a sort of permanent thing when it comes to football. You know you can drop off so so easily. But you know right well, now you can get hyped, can't you? I think some players get hyped can, up. Yeah. That's the problem. I think they they get they see like a very early signs of them. And go, oh wow, how amazing these players! I mean, we've we've had it with some players we, we've seen, haven't we? Come through the, the academies and things, and got all very excited. And then as things have worn on, you're thinking, mm, not so sure. Now, Dean Garner yeah. for once, you know, for one, yeah, well, I know we were sure. all very upset when he went. And let's be realistic, he hasn't really done that much since leaving. So, right. um, no, but with uh, Tio, I mean, he's definitely started off very well. Um, I'm I'm excited by him, and hopefully it continues, mate. Yeah, hopefully, mate, yeah. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.